Hey, it's Ted McGrath, and one of the questions I've been getting recently is, how do you actually define your dream life? So the first thing I would say is it starts with creativity and an idea. You know, most of the time, people never take time to actually sit down and actually create a dream life or create an idea of what it even looks like. A lot of times people are getting into action and you wake up every day and you get into action and you're reacting to somebody else's agenda, you're reacting to an email, you're reacting to a job, and very few times do people actually create a moment for themselves to actually get an idea of what their perfect life would be or what their dream life would be. I'll give you an example of this. This past weekend, I led an event that was uh, four days long called Message to Millions. And my clients flew in from all across the world. And essentially, we spent four days in helping them create their dream business, really teaching them how to find their life story and their message and create a business where they can coach or they can consult with other people or they can speak in front of other people and make a difference. And so those four days, they blocked out to start thinking about what their dream life was. And unless people create the space for themselves, unless they plan time to actually think about it, most people very rarely actually create a dream life. Now, there's one thing to think about it and spend four days doing it or spend four hours or spend four minutes, but the second step is you gotta take action. So the first step is you need an idea of what that dream actually is. And then the second step is you need to take action on it. You know, we just got out of a planning meeting on our team and we created all these ideas and immediately today, the day after, I'm here shooting the videos for the dreams that we're dreaming up and the ideas that we have in our business. Now, if we had let them go a week, two weeks, three weeks, you start to lose momentum. So number one, you need an idea. Number two, you need to take action on it. And number three, you need to continuously build momentum. So I think the biggest challenge of why people don't create a dream life is because they don't dream up the idea first. And that's the most important step. I know for me, uh, one of my dreams has been to do a theater show and I'm right here by the theater right now. And the last two weeks, I've done two theater shows. I've done one in Orlando, Florida and one in Irvine, California. First one had about 300 plus people in it. Second one had about 100 people in it. And I know that that's been a dream of mine that I had four years ago. Now, one of the reasons why I didn't fully follow through initially was I saw somebody do a one-man show. And as I was watching this guy do it, I was so inspired and I had an idea come through me that I said, I wanted to go do this. And uh, then immediately I went out and I took action and um, I took a weekend class with this guy who I saw his one-man show, his name's Bo Eason. And after that, after taking action, I lost the momentum. So I had the idea, I took action, but I lost momentum. And so six months went by, I didn't do anything with it. And that's a classic case of having a dream, great idea, taking some action, but not having the momentum to continue on consistently. And momentum creates consistency as long as you're always in the flow of momentum. So I waited six months, and then I realized, wow, my life's not the way I want it to be. I felt that that kind of feeling inside waking up in the morning of like, wow, there's, there's nothing to look forward to. And that's when I called and hired a coach to coach me on my one-man show. And from there on out, I've been pretty consistent on going after the dream. Now, this year for me is going after the dream even bigger. And even today at four o'clock, you know, we're taking the time as a team to talk through, you know, how do we make that dream come to fruition even more? So we're creating the space and the time to do it. So again, that's how you go create your dream life. Number one, you gotta have an idea and, it's a, and you gotta create a big idea, an idea that stretches you. Number two, you gotta take action immediately. Number three, you gotta have momentum. And number four, you gotta create consistency because consistency breeds momentum. So hope that serves you.